John White, and one of the most commonly asked questions in the southern part of the state is, why is my pinon turning brown? Why am I losing needles off of it? And we have a little sneaky insect that's doing a lot of that damage, and here to talk about that is Bob Kane. And Bob is extension forest entomologist out of Santa Fe, but he's down here in the southern part of the state to help us out because this is the ideal time to try and control this insect. So tell us a little bit about what we this have is, here. This is definitely the best time of year to take a look at this insect because uh, the eggs are being laid right now and that's the time of year you want to control this. It's the most effective time of year to control it. But uh, to, first of all, to identify trees that have the problem, from a distance you may notice trees that uh, are, are kind of casting their needles at this time of year. Uh, they've got a little bit of green growth at the top. Those are last year's new needles that were produced, but all of the two-year-old needles are being cast off. Uh, trees that look like this with the green tips and the brown older needles are good candidates to inspect for this insect. Kind of open, sparse foliage. Yeah, and each year, uh -huh. as long as this thing is infested, it gets thinner and thinner, so the trees really become noticeable over time. And it tends to be a chronic infestation. Once they get this insect, uh, they will tend to have it year after year. The insect we're talking about is the pinion needle scale, and it appears as tiny little black bean-shaped bumps on the two-year-old needles, needles that are two years old at this time of year. Um, the eggs from these insects will hatch in about a month from now, and they will move out to last year's new growth, and they will settle on there and feed on the sap of these needles all summer long, and then at this time of year, the needles start showing color and will, will be cast off. So it is a good insect, uh, I mean a good time to control this insect. Uh, let's take a look at the egg masses on the trunk of the tree and uh, you can see where, uh, where you'll want to direct your control. Right now the, uh, the female scales are leaving their scale covering and they're actually crawling, very tiny insects crawling down the branches uh, to places that are protected on the trunk and underneath the branches and in crotches of the branches and the trunk, trunk of the tree. Um, any place where it's a little protected, um, they will accumulate in large numbers and you'll notice a white cottony webbing appear and if you look up here you can see quite a bit of, of egg masses starting to accumulate and higher up on the tree even heavier uh, masses There's of eggs. Good mass down below there. Good mass there. right here, yeah, right in the crotch of this uh, branch with the trunk of the tree. You'll see this, this white webbing material. And see all that yellow in there? Those are the eggs of the insect, and the little darker spots are the female insects after they've laid their eggs. So if you can get a garden hose to this tree, you can wash off a tremendous amount of this webbing and egg mass from the tree onto the ground and rake the material up and dispose of it. It's very important that you do a cleanup on the ground, though, because they all can. of these eggs, yeah, they can move back up onto the tree. Okay. Pretty strong blast of water. To it knock does them take out a good the strong blast of water. And, and if you have a tree that's denser and smaller, sometimes it's hard to get in there and get good coverage. You may actually have to reach in and kind of brush underneath branches to, to get good coverage. What's nice about this, you, just using water, um, you will greatly reduce the insecticide or the insect population without using insecticides. But you may have to do it every several years because you won't get them all. A chemical insecticide might knock them back harder. But this allows you to manage the insect without using any insecticides. Bob, how do these move from tree to tree? Is there a certain way of, that they get, or do they stay on one tree and just they're a problem on one tree? Well, they tend to be chronic on one tree. Once one tree gets it, it tends to have it year after year, and it will slowly move to adjacent trees. The movement occurs as these tiny little crawlers are either blown in the wind or, or walk across the ground to get to the other tree. So it is a slow dispersal from tree to tree. But on, on a single tree, they tend to be reinfested year after year. This insect's also found statewide, wherever pinion is planted. We have it in woodland areas as well as in urban areas. Um, and it can be huge areas in the, in so the woodland. For the southern part of the state, we kind of catch it first. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, this is very early and a good time to talk about it because the rest of the state's going to be dealing with the, the same insect in the next few weeks. How about Albuquerque uh, and Santa Fe? When should they be looking for it? Albuquerque, uh, the egg hat or the egg laying period is usually towards the end of February into the middle part of March. And in Santa Fe, uh, it can be any time in March, usually towards the end of March, and sometimes into the first part of April. It all depends on what the weather's doing that year. Uh, but usually within a, a couple week period, most of your movement is going to occur. So you have to get out there and monitor your trees, because okay. uh, you want to catch that window. Now, if you don't catch them in this stage, and you, you know, 
you know, don't notice it maybe for some reason, but you notice the little black dots on the leaves. Yeah. Uh, is that something that can be treated at that point it, it or not? It becomes more difficult to treat later, and you can use foliar systemic insecticides. And those are most effective against the small stages right after egg hatch while they're settling in on last year's new growth. Dormant uh, oil do any good? Dormant oil would only work if you timed it right when the eggs were, were being laid or when there was hatching going on, uh, but it wouldn't be the ideal control. Um, so uh, you can wash these eggs off now, or you can use a foliar systemic insecticide uh, at the time of egg hatch to the time they're just settling in on the needles. Uh, soil applied systemic insecticides have also been reported to show good control on these as well. So there are some options, but this is a good time of year to do control without using any insecticides and just managing the insect by washing the eggs off. Okay. Well, Bob, thank you very much for you being with I us. won't shake your hand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you. Again, this is a great time to treat for this, so if you do have a pinon, you need to get out and take a look at it and see if this problem is showing up on your tree. because you can do a lot of good right now. So uh, hopefully those tips have helped you.